how to add multiple images in Canva. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can add multiple images and then blend them together in Canva. Now the first thing we're going to do is click on the custom size button over here and then we're going to create a landscape canvas for us to work on. We're going to set the width at 1280 and then the height to 720. We're simply then going to click on create next design. And then this will redirect us to this page over here. Now, if you have any images that you want to combine specifically, you can simply download them and then upload them to this section over here where you can easily access them without the need to upload them over and over. But for me, since I don't have any pictures to use, we're simply going to go to elements. We're simply going to search the topic that we want to create an edit of. Right now, I'm thinking of blending images related to hiking. So what I'm going to do first is search woods. And then we're going to click on see all photos. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of great potential photos over here. I'm just simply going to choose a photo that I like the most. I'm going to choose this one. Oh, it's a bit too dark, so never mind. We're going to choose something else. I'm going to choose this one instead. And I'm going to enlarge it to fit our page. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to search for the words gradients. Gradient. And then we're going to click on graphics. Then we're going to look for a white gradient. I'm going to choose this one. Simply click this. And it will appear into our canvas. Now we're going to flip this gradient to horizontal. And we're going to enlarge it. We're going to put it to this side over here. In the middle. Middle-ish part. And then I'm going to do a shortcut. Wherein you hold the Alt key. And then you drag the specific element and that will duplicate it in a faster way instead of doing it one by one like this. You could simply just hold Alt and then drag. Then we're going to click and then we're going to create a shape like this and change the color of the shape to white. Then we're going to cover this area over here. I'm going to adjust the gradients a bit so that the forest is more visible. You can see the forest is now a little bit more visible. Now the next thing we're going to do is to download this for the meantime. In here then downloading it. And we're also going to add a new page down here where we will upload the downloaded image. We're going to drag it over here. It's being uploaded. We're going to drag it back and enlarge it. We are going to need to adjust its coloring by going here. Detail on see all. Then we can adjust the brightness. We can adjust the contrast. So that it's so that it looks much better after that we're going to click on another page and then look for another element that we want to mix it with now I'm, I'm going to search hiking then go to photos once again and we're going to choose an image that we like i'm going to choose this image over here we're simply going to drag this make it fit our canvas then, like earlier, we're going to search gradients. And then we're going to do the same thing as we did earlier to the other image. Simply gonna click this. Then we're going to enlarge in it. And then holding Alt, we're gonna duplicate this. Just like that. And then once again, we're going to download our image. Download. Then we're going to wait for it to finish downloading. And after downloading, we're going to wait. We accidentally downloaded both image. I'm going to do that again. We need to change the 
image settings to only the third image then click done then download wait for it to download then we're going to upload it to our canva and we're going to add another page now over here this is where we will do the magic of combining and blending the two image together we're going to drag this over here and then we're going to drag the other image that we have created earlier so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to double click this then we're going to crop it a bit make it move over here we're going to click enter and we're going to change its transparency and then we're going to adjust our image to go over there and then adjust the transparency just like that and as you can see the blending looks very clean and what we're going to do next once again is download the image that specific image only which is the fourth image then click on download wait for it to finish downloading again Building it then we're going to create another page for us Okay, put it over here. We're going to enlarge in it. It fit our canvas. And then we're going to click on edit image. And then we're going to adjust the color. We're going to try and make the color more sharper. So that it looks more, much more lively. As you can see, the difference is very much noticeable. The color is much more richer than earlier. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to search for another image again that is related to our topic which is hike hiking right now. I'm going to search bonfire. You click on image. And then I'm going to find I'm going to choose this image over here. Right here. Drag it. Put it in the center. Then the next thing we're going to do is simply change transparency so that it appears in both image. And as you can see, our images are now blended. And then we're going to add a text that says hiking. We're going to choose an appropriate font style. For example, this one. Or we're going to change this to hiking. And just like that, we were able to merge three different photos into one canvas. And as we scroll up, we can see the progress that we did. We first edited the first image, then make it more richer. Then the same thing with the second. Then we mix them together, then now. And then this is the our final result. And you can just simply click on share and then download this. And then now you can use this image for anything you want to use it for. And that's it guys. That's how you can add multiple images in Canva. Thanks for watching.